um, out here in the desert, so it's already synced up and ready to go. I'm gonna power on my transmitter and my Wi-Fi repeater, power on the Ares X10, and it can take about a minute to two minutes for this all to connect and become usable, especially the Wi-Fi network. Now, you notice I'm not using my, or my smartphone to watch my camera. That's because I'm just going to focus on flying right now and not the camera things. But before you fly with the smartphone, you'll want to go ahead and format your card, set your resolution and your viewing angle for the camera and your stills also. So now once I'm all powered up and I'm in GPS mode, I'm in OK and OK mode in S1 and S2. Um, I can control my camera here as well, as we all remember. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give the stick command, which is both sticks down and to the outside for the props to boot up. And when that happens, I'm going to stand behind the drone. So I'm going to position myself facing the drone where the green lights are more towards me, or the red lights are more towards me, forgive me, and the green lights are farther away so that I know that the positioning is the same. So forward for me is forward for the drone, back is back backwards for the drone, right is right, and left is left. Now, takeoff can be a little tricky at the beginning, takeoff and landing. So what you want to do is I encourage myself and everyone the first time you fly it to be slow, controlled, and confident. Don't freak out and don't start pushing buttons and joysticks because that'll really cause your drone to do things you're not expecting. It makes it harder to fly. So the first thing I'm going to do is throttle up just a little bit so that the drone just barely lifts off the ground. I'm going to try and hover it three or four feet and then bring it back down. So instead of going full bore, trying to launch it, I'm just going to give it a little bit of stick. You'll hear it pitch up and it'll lift off. Now I'm immediately just going to take off my fingers, give it just enough little throttle to stay up drift, and it's going to figure itself out and lock in its position even better. Now you notice I'm doing nothing and it stays right in its position. So landing, the same kind of thing. I'm gonna gently, instead of going all the way down, I'm gonna gently lower the stick until it gets about a foot off the ground. And let it settle. And then I'm gonna softly bring it down until it touches down very easily. And then bring my right control stick down slowly and to the sides. Now I've noticed in my flights with the Aries that if you bring the right control stick down to turn off the throttle uh, too quickly and too aggressively, it'll want to tip back. So make sure it's very easy and controlled. So you have it down, it's on the ground, it's not going to go anywhere. Slowly pull down the right stick and bring it over. Now before you fly for the first time, we need to talk about some of the precautions you need to take. You need to make sure that you're in an open, expansive area with no trees, no power lines, definitely near no military bases or airports so that we are very clear and we're very open and I can be allowed to learn how to pilot the drone. So in this one, I'm gonna take it back up and I'm gonna look at some of the controls of how to actually control the drone in the air, okay? So we're gonna give it the stick command to power up the, the propellers. I'm gonna lightly lift the throttle so it pitches up and takes off just a couple of feet off the ground, let it settle. I'm gonna bring it about five or 10 feet in the air just so I have a little bit more safety, like right there. And again, I'm just letting it settle out and letting it hover, I'm not doing anything. Now if I move the right stick, this is one we're gonna focus on first. If I move the right stick forward, it goes forward. If I move the right stick back, it goes back. Stick to the left, to the left. Stick to the right, to the right. So I'm gonna bring it back over here where you can see it nice and easily. And bring him down just a little bit so he stays in the frame. Great. Now, the next thing we're gonna talk about is adding yaw. So yaw, remember, is when the drone rotates and changes the direction in which it is facing. So if I took, take my left stick to the left, he will turn counterclockwise. And if I turn him to the right, he'll turn to the right, clockwise. Perfect. At any given time I'm flying it, I'm trying to remind myself that I am the red lights. So wherever the red lights are, that is the direction I am facing. So if the drone turns around like this direction, now I'm facing this way. If it is facing this way, I'm facing this way. It seems very simple, but whenever it's in the air and you're in the flight and it starts doing something a little unpredictable, like drifting just a couple of feet, the worst thing you can do is panic and not know your orientation because that's how you crash the drone. If you take good care of it, it'll last you a long time. Great, so now 
If I wanted to start recording, as you said in other things, I can start my video here, and you see I get my video icon here that says I'm recording, and then my red one to stop recording, and then I can also take stills right here. I can also control my camera and amend my viewing angle right here. So now we've got a good feel for flying. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring it back and land it one more time. Bring him down, nice and easy, until he's about a foot off of the ground. Let him settle out. I'm gonna bring him over just a little bit so you can see him better. Bring him down. And then softly and gingerly bring the sticks towards the ground so he lands nice and easily. And then again, my throttle at the bottom, my right stick down gently into the corners. Just like that. Very nice and soft movements with your controls will always yield better results. It's very fun to fly fast, but especially whenever you're starting, try and remain controlled and fly him slow. So I hope you enjoy your Aries. Treat your respect and please remember, always be careful and be knowledgeable about where you're flying so you don't endanger any people or equipment around you. Other than that, take care of it and have a great time.